Hi, welcome to the Solutions Manual. This is 5-29 from RCQ Baller Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have a mass of 700 kg which is suspended from a trolley which moves along the crane wheel from T equals to 1.7 3.5. Determine the force along the pin connected knee spread BC and the magnitude of force at pin A as a function of position T. Then we have to plot the results of the forces on the vertical axis versus the position D on the horizontal axis. To solve this problem, first of all we have to draw all the forces and the support reactions. So at point A I have a pin connection. So it has two force reactions, one horizontal reaction. like this and one vertical reaction this is a two force member the link bc so here it is a inclined support and this one is the load so it is acting downwards vertically downwards Okay, now we have to resolve this inclined support reaction from the link EC into its components. So it has one horizontal component and one vertical component. So let's label them. So this one is AY, this is AX, and if I consider this FBC. Then this one is FBCY and this one is FBCX. This is 700 into 9.81. Now for this angle theta, we can use the relation of tan theta. Tan theta is equal to 2 meters the perpendicular distance over the base 1.5 so theta is equals to 53.13 degrees now to keep this system in equilibrium we have to apply the equations of equilibrium so our first equation will be the sum of the forces in the x direction should be zero i am considering right and hand side as positive so I have AX plus FBCX. So this will be FBC cos 53.13 degrees equals to 0. So I can write it as AX is equals to negative FBC cos 53.13 degrees. This is our equation 1. For the second equation, I have sum of the forces in y direction should be equal to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So I have Ay plus FBCY. So it is FBC sine 53.13 degrees minus the weight of this load so it has so it is 700 into 9.81 equals to 0 so from here i have ay is equals to negative fpc sine 53.13 degrees plus 700 into 9.81 this is 68 Six, seven. So this one is our equation 2. Now you can observe that we have 3 unknowns and 2 equations. So we need one more equation to solve all the variables, unknown variables. It is sum of 
all the moments about point A equal to zero. I am considering clockwise moment as positive. So A Y and A X will not produce any moment about point A because they are passing through it. Also, the horizontal component of F B C force will not produce any moment about point A because if I draw the the projection of this horizontal component up here. then you can see that it is passing through the point A so there is no moment arm for this horizontal component F, B, C, X so only the vertical component of F, B, C force will produce the moment so we have F, B, C sin 53.13 and this will produce the counterclockwise moment so it is taken as negative. Now for the moment arm, the moment arm is 1.5 meter, this distance. We have a clockwise moment produced by this load. So it is taken as positive. We have 700 into 9.81, 6867, 6867 into the moment arm. The moment arm is this distance b equals to 0. So from here fbc can be written as if you simplify all of this 57 to 2.51b this is a general equation for the force bc now we have given two conditions when B equals to 1.7 meters and when B is equals to 3.5 meters. When B is equals to 1.7 meters, FBC is equals to 9.728 newtons. When B is equals to 3.5 meters, FBC is equals to 200 28.785. So these are the two answers for the force FBC. Now we have to solve for the force FA. So if I put the general equation into AX and AY equations, then if I let's write here if let's say put FBC equals to five seven to two point five one B in equations one and two from here AX is equals to negative three four 33.5 B and AY is equals to 6867 minus 4578 B now with the help of Pythagoras theorem we have FA is equals to square root of ax square plus square root of ay square from here f if i put b is equals to 1.7 meters that F A is equals to five nine zero eight point three two five, and when B is equals to three point five meters, F A is equals to one five one zero seven point eight three. Now we have found all the values that we were asked in the question to solve to find. Now we have to plot the graph. So if I zoom in, 
we have to plot between FBC, FA versus the position D. Plot the graph, we have to draw two perpendicular axes like this. On the vertical axis, we have force in kilonewtons, and on the horizontal axis, we have the position in meters. So it is 0, we have 1.7 and 3.5. So if we consider FBC force, then at 1.7 we have 9728. Let's say 9.7 9 lies somewhere here. We are, we are considering 9.7 so right here let's mark a point similarly let's mark a point here similarly at 3.5 we have the force up to 20 kN. So if I write here, let's say this is 20.0 kN, then we have this one right here, like this. And the line for FBC force would be a straight line because the general equation has a highest degree of. 1 highest power of 1 so it is a linear equation so for the FPC force I have a straight line like this let's mark it as FPC these are the points For FA force at 1.7, I have the value of 5908.325. So we are considering it as 5.9. So 5.9 will lie somewhere here. So let's mark a point here. At 3.5, I have up to 15.1. Newtons. So at 3.5 I have 15 that would last somewhere here 15.1 kilonewtons like this. Now FA force cannot be shown by a straight line because the highest power of this FA equation is not 1. It is the square root of the terms so the shape of the line for FA force is curved like this so this is FA now the question arises that how you could know that the shape of FA force would look like this to solve this to form the shape of this FA force, you should consider the points between 1.7 and 3.5. This would give you extra values, extra points to plot the FA force correctly. Like you can select the point 1.9 that would give you a new value for this FA force. You get the new point. Similarly, you can get by changing the value of B, you can get the new point for FA force. Let's say right here. So it helps you plot the FP force more accurately. So this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask them in the comment section and I will be happy to answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.